Welcome to class. I'm Oluwato Akiri in Jesu. So in this class, we'll be talking about how to name the black keys. In the previous class, I already explained how to name the white keys. But I'm going to do a recap so that we'll be able to link the white keys with the black keys. And we said also in the last class, that the white keys are named after the first seven letters of the alphabet which is a to g a b c d e f g and after g you start all over again from a and you continue you repeat the pattern so you have a b c d e f g a b c d e f g so if we now pick this key c starting from that c to another c so anytime you encounter a white key before the two set of black keys that key is key c now c d e f g a b c and that's why you still land on c so if you now continue from that c again c d e f g a b c you see that you have encountered another c so let's still consider this window c to c to now name our black keys because it is our white keys that will help us to name our black keys to identify our black keys and if you see between this c to c you have this black keys two black keys three black keys so how do we now name these five black keys picking this white key before this black key which is key c if you move from this c to this black key you have raised it by a semitone so it means that this black key will be named c sharp you have sharpened it so c sharp this second black key is named d sharp don't forget c d d sharp because you have raised it by a semitone the distance between a key on the piano and the next key after it is a semitone when you are moving from your left towards your right you are you are raising it you are raising the key by a semitone that's f sharp so if you move from this g to this black key you have g sharp if you move from this key a to this black key you have f sharp so these five black keys you now have c sharp d sharp f sharp g sharp a sharp let's now go to the flats if you move from c from your right side to towards your left side it means that you are moving it down by a semitone this particular key if you are going to name it you name it after this white key because if you move from this white key to this black key, you are moving it down by a semitone. So that is what? You have B flat. This key is B, so it's B flat. So this next one is going to be what? A flat. Because you have flattened it by a semitone. Then this next one is going to be what? G flat. Then this one is going to be what? E flat. This is D flat. Some cases where you could have c flat or f flat that if you pick your key c the very next key after it if you are moving down if you move from your right to your left if you move down by a semitone after c you encounter a white key instead of a black key you so there are cases where you have c flat or f flat this particular white key is called f flat in some cases but you don't need that for now at this stage because it can be confusing for you just focus on naming the black keys because this is a beginner class so we don't want to complicate things for you we want you to actually be able to understand this better also for the sharps there, there are some cases that you have e sharp so because after this key e you will encounter another white key instead of a black key so this key if you move from this key to this key you have sharpened it by a semitone so this white key in some cases this white key becomes e sharp and in some cases this key becomes b sharp because you have sharpened this white key by a semitone so this key will be named b sharp but you don't need it for now so that you don't get confused just focus on naming the black keys you can just pick any notes at random if you pick this key now this key is a if you pick this key this key is e this key can either be g sharp or a flat depending on whether you are moving from left 
to right or you are moving from right to left and that's why these black keys usually have two names so this key can either be f sharp or g flat f sharp or g flat so uh, get used to naming the white keys and the black keys pick any key at random and name it so see you in the next class thanks for watching follow us on facebook oluwato yakiri jesu on our youtube channel oluwato yakiri jesu on our instagram oluwato underscore akiri jesu like this video comment on it and share this video thank you